All right. <clears throat> so uh, about to get started. All right. Before I get started, um, want to give all praises to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Yahweh Kakwadash. Double honors to the other apostles, great millstone who rule and teach well, and honors and salutations to the men of the Lord doing the same but teaching the same. All right. And um, so looking for the bad lighting and things like that. This is just a quick sit down lesson. Uh, in my car, all right, and I know I don't got my garment on and things like that, all right, but that's all right, and uh, just basically doing the sit down on you so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American women, all right, um, that's uh, and they 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 extremely mad and they blaming uh, <laughs> they blaming you so called blacks, Hispanic, and the Na and uh, Native American men. All right. Okay. So they're blaming the Israelite man. Okay. And uh, Eve, this presidential election should open up a lot of eyes to you so called blacks, Hispanic, and Na Native American men. All right. Because um, Eve truly don't respect you and she hates, she hates the Israelite man. All right. And you can, you can give a round of applause uh, to Esau, the so called white man. All right, in this Western uh, and American uh, philosophy, all right, <clears throat> you know that has um, poisoned, all right, poisoned the minds of of the Israelite woman, all right. To you know, to um, that's all Esau, the so-called white man, does anyway. But prophecy has to be fulfilled, all right. It was prophesied for our women to be against us, all right, and to be set up above us. In Babylon the Great America and have more um, benefits and privileges okay in this society than men okay so um, yeah it's, it's going viral it's going viral on the internet you just got all these black women uh, saying all type of saying all, all type of evil shit about you know the so-called black man and Hispanic and Native American man all right <clears throat> You know, and just blaming them because of Trump won and just wishing all type of death and uh, police brutality on the, on the Israelite man. Okay. All right. So uh, that's what this lesson is all about. And uh, I'm about to get some precepts. All right. So this is Isaiah, Isaiah 13. And I'm going to start it. I might get straight to it because it. I want to keep it short as possible. All right. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to just get straight to it. So this is Isaiah, Isaiah 13 and 11. And I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease and will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. That's right. So um, Jacob's trouble is the antidote for, um, you know, for pride, for pride of you, uh, you women, okay? Jacob's trouble is going to humble you women, all right? And um, those nuclear missiles is just going to plainly get rid of you wicked women, all right? <clears throat> and you women are naturally wicked, as the Bible says, all right? You know, you're, uh, you're weaker vessels, all right? The Lord has an incline unto you wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, all right? So women are not... You wasn't created, nor uh, can you mentally, physically, and spiritually operate uh, in the capacity to be a leader, all right, and to make sound judgment, all right? You wasn't created for that reason. You were solely created for the man to be a helpmate and um, a pillar of rest to the man, all right? You know, and take care of the children in the household, all right? <clears throat> So, uh, yeah, so you're really supposed to be submitting to a man, all right? The man is your head, and that's what the Lord says. Yehovah Bahashem, Yehovah Shah. Okay, this is not what man says, this is what the Lord says, all right? And once you get to going into scriptures like that, boy, the black woman, <laughs> she stopped believing in God, all right? And the Lord, point blank period, the Lord is going to kill a lot of women. 
all right? Because a lot of you women is wicked, all right? And you refuse to submit to a man of the Lord, all right? Of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, all right? Therefore, the Lord is going to kill you. You know, and us men of the Lord, we're not going to feel sorry for you. We're, in fact, going to be happy, all right? Because um, in, today, in 2024, women hate men. Israelite women hate the Israelite man. All right, and it's so wicked and bad. You even got women that's putting on um, modest apparel and head wraps and fringes and claiming to be Hebrew Israelites, but really and truly, uh, they're against the Israelite man. All right, they hate the Israelite man. Um, they only submissive when it benefits them. Okay, and uh, they against you know multiple wives all type of shit okay so although even those those type of women you know you, you're gonna end up losing that man of the lord all right if you don't give with the program okay so the lord is bringing jacob's trouble and uh the grand finale will be um those nuclear missiles all right so it says i will make a man more precious than fine gold even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. right so all that pride, all that talking about, um, you know, you hope the police <laughs> uh, uh, kneel on their necks and, you know, and shit like that. All right. <clears throat> that was George uh, Foreman. If I said his name wrong, Salakia. All right. But, uh, yeah, Eve just going crazy. They, they so mad that Kamala Harris didn't win. All right. They saying all type of evil shit. They hope the police beat the piss out the black man and, you know, every black man that didn't voted for Trump. All right. They hope, you know, they hope you get pulled over and harassed by the police. All right. And then mid sentence, he just pull out his gun and start yapping. All right. So that's how these black women feel about you. So-called blacks, Hispanic and the Native American uh, men. OK, these women truly hate us and they look at us. Um, they might not say it all the time or whatever, but they got that fucking, that slave mentality, that, that Southern slave mentality where they look at all men as boys. Okay. And they might not say it to you, but they really still don't respect you. We're not going to get a hundred percent respect until we, uh, get into the kingdom of heaven. All right. And us as men of the Lord, we demand respect. All right. And you can't come around us unless you respect us. And fear us, all right? Because respect and fear is synonymous, okay? So uh, we demand that out the gate, all right? And here's the beauty of it. The Israelite man decides your fate. <laughs> you, you, uh, you women, so you better get in line, all right? Because when Isaiah 4 and 1 happened, these women are going to try to cleave to the uh, elect men, all right? And guess what? We decide your fate, all right? <clears throat> so it says uh okay i read that um isaiah 13 and 16 their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes their houses shall be spoiled and their wives ravished all right so when society collapse all right you independent women you're not going to have no protection all right you're not going to have no protection okay uh you're going to be getting ravished raped okay your house is broken into, you single moms, single uh, parent homes, all right, widows, your house is going to be broken into, and you're going you're gonna to be wishing you never got rid of your husband, all right, but yeah, and guess what, the Lord and the angels are going to be laughing at you black women, okay, and the prophets, all right. Fuck them, fuck them up the wall, all right. We don't feel sorry for, um, <clears throat> you know, because majority of uh, you so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American women, uh, you hate you on that. It's really concentrated on the, on, uh, the Judite woman, so-called black women. You truly hate uh, the black, so-called black man, all right, which we're, we're Israelites, all right? We already know this. This, you know... Israelite 101, but you got to use these type of terminologies, all right, to, you know, to edify, okay? <clears throat> so it says, um, 
Isaiah 32 and 9. Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. Many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless women, for the vintage shall fail. The gathering shall not come. All right? <clears throat> you know? And call her law, ye howl by Hashem, ye howl shah. Because you got a lot of um, single uh, women that's mothers, all right? And just on their own. And they're suffering, okay? They can't they can't afford to pay their bills. All right. You may be asking how I know that, okay? Because I'm the one I'm the one that come when you don't pay your bill, I'm the one that come to cut, cut your bill off. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. So uh yeah. You like it's it's a it's a um what's the word? It's a high Major, I'm going to say this, majority of the, the uh, people that's behind on their bills, all right, I'm not saying this is like just all women that's uh, by themselves or whatever, but a high concentration, it's, it's, a, um, it's a trend, all right, I see this a lot, you know, in my, in my um, dealing with my job, all right, I see this a lot, I see a lot of women that's single and have a lot of fucking baby kids, all right, and they can't pay their fucking bills, all right? And they looking stupid, all right? And guess what? I'm coming to cut that bitch off, <laughs> all right? <clears throat> and then it's crazy because, you know, um, you know, I didn't, I didn't have women, you know, talk about, you know, they'll pay me money to not cut their shit off or whatever, and, and the list go on and on, you know, and I just tell them, nah, you ain't got to do that. And, uh, you know, I'd be telling them, don't, don't say shit like that because you will have a, a low down ass nigga, you know, come take advantage, you know, and be charging you, you, you know, usury. All right. Taxing you plus getting some, some, you know, all type of shit. So, uh, these women out here suffering and they're going to continue to suffer. All right. Cause they refuse to repent and convert to, uh, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. And to submit to elect man, okay? So therefore, you're going to continue to suffer. The ones that, um, when all hell break loose and shit like that, all right? Uh, you better hope a man of the Lord actually pick you, okay? In those days. All right? Because <clears throat> all hell about to break loose. All right? We're about to, uh, we're entering into uh, second gear of prophecy. All right, and I stamped it. So this um, all right. It says, "Tremble, ye women that are at ease; be troubled, ye careless ones. Strip you and make you bare, and gird sackcloth up upon your loins." All right. So yeah, <clears throat> life as you know it is about to change drastically. All right, society is about to collapse. So all you women. Um, that has your license to carry, all right? <clears throat> We're going to see how tough and bad you is, okay, when society collapse, and you got to defend yourself because it's fuck a nigga, right? It's to hell with men, so you got to defend yourself. And you best believe if I'm of the elect uh, and I'm in the kingdom, I want to rewatch the footage of you masculine women trying to protect yourselves in JT, and just see how fucking scared you was in those times. All right? But Lord, when that was edifying, want to end it and give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Yahweh Kakmadash. All right? Double honors to the old apostles, great millstone, rule and teach well, and honors and salutations to the men of the Lord. All right? Doing the same, teaching the same.